stop the Wardens from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. I wouldn't mind never having another Blight. Corypheus interfering is the real problem. The Blight is the real problem. And the Wardens are trying to end the Blight forever. Yes. Would it have worked? Do you know? Did they? The fools who first unleashed the Blight upon this world thought they were unlocking ultimate power. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. My friend. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dur, a lost Tevinter city buried deep beneath a dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. Primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Let's see what we have. All right.
the Inquisition. Didn't I see you with her once? Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. Blessed are the peacekeepers. What would you do if Templars did attack you? Inquisitor. Now, please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Ellerly's words. Make her keep you. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? You don't think much of the current Orlesian nobility? I do not. It is a watered-down shadow of its former glory, degraded by a mongrel mix of tradesmen and merchants. Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Valreo, perhaps. Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain? I shall raise the Duparaquettes into Lordship. I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can.
Word for you. A place to set up camp, perhaps.
grew up at Redcliffe. He used to play in the fields outside this very village. Uh-oh, nobody is here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the Dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration, is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. I'll need you to explain that. Did I stutter? Men and the company thereof as in sex. Surely you've heard of it. You've never been with a woman? Or wanted to. Allow me to say, women are fine creatures. You, for instance, are amazing above all others. They're just... not for me. But that's not so beyond belief, is it? This display is uncalled for. No, it is called for. You called for it by luring me here. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, father. Or had you forgotten? Your father might be here to reach out. You could give him a chance. Let's just go. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me. A trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me.
He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. He tried to change you. Out of desperation. I wouldn't put on a show, marry the girl, keep everything unsavory, private and locked away. Selfish, I suppose. Not to want to spend my entire life screaming on the inside. He was going to do a blood ritual. Alter my mind. Make me... acceptable. I found out. I left. Can blood magic actually do that? Maybe. It could also have left me a drooling vegetable. It crushed me to think he found that absurd risk preferable to scandal. Part of me has always hoped he didn't really want to go through with it. If he had. I can't even imagine the person I would be now. He wouldn't like that, Dorian. Maybe if you keep working at it, keep talking... It was a start, at least. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but... It's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evident. Oh, I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinto, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Oh. I'd like to hear what these rumors are exactly. I... could not repeat them, your worship. Repeat them? So you've shared them before. I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Why should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but... I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. Have a thing for strapping young Templars, I see. What's this about? Oh, nothing. Just something I find rather adorable about you. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Popular topic. Anything specific? Anyone who talks about the Imperium mentions slavery. It's the center of the slave trade. Ah. 
That is true. And did you have slaves? Not personally, but my family does and treats them well. Honestly, I never thought much about it until I came south. Back home, it's... how it is. Slaves are everywhere. You don't question it. I'm not even certain many slaves do. You think slaves like it that way? Don't be ridiculous. I didn't say they like it. It's all most of them know. In the south, you have alienages, slums, both human and elven. The desperate have no way out. Back home, a poor man can sell himself. As a slave, he could have a position of respect, comfort, and could even support a family. Some slaves are treated poorly, it's true. But do you honestly think inescapable poverty is better? I suppose not. No. I don't know what it's like to be a slave, true. I never thought about it until I saw how different it was here. But I suspect you don't know either. Nor should you believe that every tale of Tevinter excess is the norm. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. I must admit, I've never been able to understand Southern Templars. Back home, a Templar shows up and all you think is, Oh dear, which Magister did I cross this time? Here, it's quite different. You're not thinking of actually joining their order, are you? I find their talents useful. That's all. Useful against mages? Speaking as a mage, it's a little disconcerting. Are you aware you smell different? I do. No one's mentioned it. Lyrium has a particular smell. Like the air after a lightning strike. Not that I go about smelling you. I'm just saying. I should go. As you wish.